In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create Google Forms. So once you've opened up Google Forms, you'll want to head on into a new blank one. But then next to this, you'll notice there are some templates available. Obviously, you can go on these depending on what your use case for Google Forms is, and you can access more templates available for Google Forms by simply clicking on Template Gallery at the top. But I'm going to head on into a blank form. So once it's open, you'll be greeted by this page. To start off with, what you want to do is title up your form. And underneath this, you've got form description. This is where you'd be posting about what the form or quiz is about, what's covered inside of it, or link to any resources or sites needed in order to fill it out. But I'm going to leave this option blank. From here, you need to decide, is this going to be a form or is it going to be a quiz? Because if you're creating a quiz, you'll want to go into settings and change one option. And if you're creating a quiz, you'll want to head on into settings, this option here, which says quizzes, and then toggle this on, which says make it a quiz. Basically, what this will do is enable for you to award marks and for Google Forms to automatically mark your Google Forms. And then make sure you click save at the bottom right. Then underneath this, you've got your question section. If you click on this, you can title your first question. For example, question one. And next to this, you have the ability to change your quiz type. For example, you can have multiple choice, your checkboxes or drop down menu, but then you've also got the plethora of different options as well. For example, short answer and paragraph, which are more exam style or feedback questions. Then you've got file upload, linear scale, multiple choice grid, and all the other options. Make sure to let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like a tutorial on any of these things. I'm going to stick with multiple choice though. Then you're ready to put in your answers. To do this, type in one answer here where it says option one. But how do you add multiple answers? To do this, what you want to do is click add option at the bottom and it will add multiple options. But what does add other mean? Add other basically means the person who's filling out the form is has the ability to input their own answer. So now that we've got our answers in place, we want to award some marks. To do this, what we want to do is head on into answer key at the bottom left and click on the answer or answers which are correct. And as you can see, the options that you've clicked as the right answer will turn green and will have this green tick at the right hand side. Above this, you have the number of points available. So how many points is this question worth? For example, on this multiple choice question, I'm going to give it one, but you can give as many as you like. And then right at the bottom, you've got this blue option here, which says add answer feedback. If you click on this, basically what this will do is it will give feedback for incorrect answers. So you can say um, in this section, oh, this is a common misconception or attach any links or videos to help the students get this right next time. And then you can do the exact same for correct answers. And once you're done, make sure to click save at the bottom right. And once you're done awarding points, all you need to do is click done at the bottom right. So now if we head on into the bottom right of our question, you'll see we've got quite a few options, duplicate and delete, as well as these two options here, required, which we want to make sure is toggled on for all of these questions, because this ensures that nobody is cheating or skipping out questions, since this will mean that the form cannot be submitted without answering this question. And then you've got the three dots next to it for more options. Basically, what this will do is you have the ability to add a description to the question, go to section based on answer, and then we've got shuffle option order, which is a great option to stop students from cheating. And finally, on the right hand side, you've got this box. In this box you have the ability to add another question by clicking the add icon and then you've also got a few other options which we'll cover in later tutorials and the final option we're going to cover in this section is adding sections basically what this will do is add separate pages to split up your form even more or your quiz even more in the next part, I'll be showing you some settings you need to change in Google Forms, as well as how to access the results from your Google Forms. Also, make sure to subscribe since we post a ton of content just like this one, where we give you the best tips and tricks to grow your confidence online. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.